Hello, Speed Gaming. Welcome to the next match of the Metroid Prime Cross Game Cup for 2023-24. My name is Jay, or like fans, yeah. I'm here to commentate our next match ver uh, between Slack Hell versus Wendy's Dollar Menu. It looks like races are about to get ready. So we're going to have a good chance. We have a really good match here. Yes, they rolled it. <laughs> I personally rolled the speed once again. We have a very good time. Let me also open up my notes. Because I reckon I'm. Ex Please, guys, excuse me if there's something like, getting missed out here. Having to watch four screens is going to be fun. Ah, uh, okay. It looks like Callum's screen died. Oh, Callum has some FPS problems. And surely this will get fixed very soon. Okay, we're going to start with the SJF, the Space Jump first, which is where we abuse for Metro Prime not to have a sideways speed cap. Oh, Amber Translator. That's useful for Aegon. Uh, this especially comes into clutch with the strafing movement that the Prime Games give to us, where we can just release after immediately pressing B and gain a lot of speed to go over big uh, across big gaps. Also, ice cream under the ship. <laughs> Early ice. That is something you don't usually see. So for the Prime players, we will head towards Artifact Temple. For the Echoes players, we will first have to take care of Albert. For anyone that's unaware of these games, the artifacts that will be hinted right here in the Artifact Temple are basically our keys to the final bosses and will determine which checks are required to beat the game, in addition to some items. Any immediate artifact readers? Harvest. Venomous Pond. Security cake. Poison fork. Lights required. Moon cake. Arbor chamber. Watch station. Great tree chamber and transport exit and runner. Those are very interesting artifacts given the Okay, we have like to require with uh, Venomous Pond and Poison Block. Poison Block should have lights required pretty much. Uh, though, I have to say, these artifacts are really calm in comparison to other artifacts we've already had. <laughs> there already were some wild in this one. Oh, the Prime 2 Super Sound Temple thing. I mean, yeah, the prime players are going to be happy if they'll be able to see space jump in a seat that I jumped, unfortunately. I feel like that has become the living meme for me. Alright, so <clears throat> the Echoes players both are interested in getting the slope jump for Temple Assembly side done here. It is a movement trick where we abuse Samus getting more height when jumping against the slope. 
and we can use it right here to get on top of this pillar to get uh, the item of this room earlier. Nicely done by Hunter. It is Prime Supers. Oh, is that Varian? Is that Varian uh, Fußball Ledge? That's interesting. That's an early Varian suit. For those supers, won't have a big use till space jump or echoes. But I'm still pretty sure they can get some pretty good uh, stuff in. That barrier, though. So either we're going to the space jump early, or we are getting boost ball a lot earlier. And we're starting with a worm key. <laughs> oh, Prime also has first. Ooh. Uh, yes, we only had Spring Ball RAs. Echoes has no RAs. It's only Spring Ball for Prime. Now, the Echoes players do have Amber, which means both Callum as Hunch Bunny will have a lot of potential for hints. Oh, and that's Callum's space jump. Let's go. That's a good place to have Echo Space jump in. Now, this is a perfect example of how this will work. So, <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so that is an SDK on two boys. <laughs> oh no! What reactions is required? So, <laughs> normally those translators would give us access to Lauren Echoes. In this case, they give us hints for icon. Prime's is where? I, oh no, I couldn't see it. God damn it. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, I couldn't see that, but Lucky got a hint for right. Uh, Callum got a hint for Ivor. Lucky. <laughs> no! You are kidding me! The warp has to sneak along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are kidding me! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Okay, that's two of the Echoes Majors required. What if we make it free? Give us something required on Chica. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh my god, we're eight minutes in this is already awful. <laughs> So, yes, as Callum already. Oh my god, I sand cash light, uh, light beam. That's a classic. So, <laughs> we already have artists required for Prime, a light suit required artifact. <laughs> we have an SDK on Tumors and a Morbus I didn't see. See the PB. I think it was somewhere. Wait, no. Where was that PB? This S was super. Oh, it was. Yeah. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky. Yeah, it was best. Uh, well, we have an SDK on Tumors, and Morbus has Seeker Launch. Of artists is required, and we have an artifact in Poison Fog. <laughs> Within eight minutes. 
Merde. <lacht> oh, oh Gott. I should not gen tournament see. <lacht> yep, there is confirmation. Oh, doomed entry. That's a prime movement in doomed entry. And cannonballs early. <laughs> oh, no. So Bump Guardian has cannonball. Oh, that's Emerald. Let's go. More hints for us. Well, if Callum gets screw attack soon enough, Callum can keep that. Yes, I gen this. Yeah, we have uh, Quarantine Cave, Venomous Pond, Security Cave, Poison Bog, Root Cave, Arbo Chamber, Watch Station, Great Tree Chamber, Transport Access and Rana as artifacts. Oh my god. <laughs> also, we have ice beam behind the ship, so I don't know. Oh, prime players don't have morph yet. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> How bad can a seat be within eight minutes? I'm sitting there and cracking my fingers. <laughs> yeah, maybe two for two, Ari. <laughs> at some point, I, I promise you guys, at some point, I'll gen a vanilla Ari seed in this tournament. If my luck with the cursed seeds continues like this, it's gonna happen. Yeah, they could have reset, but I think both players just don't want to lose. 10 minutes of progress given that uh, Echo Supers are in task, so for Hunch Bunny, Hunch Bunny would have to get the task jump again. Callum still has to go back for Supers, which is also why I don't really like Callum's play here to already enter uh, laps. Given that Supers are available right now, we might want to grab them. Oh, yeah. I, oh, wait, can you repipe Bomb Garden Bar? I didn't know that. But oh boy, this seed already. <laughs> oh, that's not no. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, up so far, no one has yelled at me in the race time. That's the good news. <laughs> Yesterday was pretty rough for me to see the race time chat. Now, the big question for me is, where is Prime Space Jump gonna be? I still can't get over that. I'm just waiting for some check telling us that Chica has the Dark Visor. <laughs> then Chat Space Jump. Oh yeah, that's something that could that's something that could go wrong. I can see that happening. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, imagine they get screw attack and I gen the prime space jump and storage speed. <laughs> oh, they have emerald. Space jump could actually be on the ship right now. Well, given on where bombs for echoes are, that is.
And there's screw attack. Oh, that's lucky forgot that they had supers, I think. Because the other both already had screw. Okay. Do we scan the Luminos? Yes. So, Battleground in cash. Missile related. So that's that. I don't like the play either. It's, uh, for me personally, I'd opt to go for the bigger chunk of checks right now instead of thinking what could be. Oh my, wait, was that main PVs for Echoes? Is that Echoes? <laughs> That's Echoes lanes. Oh no. I s well, we need command control. Oh, you can actually go through. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know about that. It looks like Slucky is thinking about doing. Okay, that's dead. That's good. So now, I'm pretty sure Slucky knows about this. Or like Slacky and Callum know about the main PVs, so going back for them right now is probably not the best play. Oh? Oh, missile related in in reliquary. That could have been very, very good. <laughs> I have... This is a weird speed where space jump is very late. The space jump and more for prime again that turns out to be late. Hilarious. Oh, that's Echo's bombs. <laughs> Hello, Echo's bombs in Windchamber Gate <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, Morph is in so many places. Morph can very well. I'm not sure they use the same control. Morph can now also not just really be somewhere in uh, in lab. Yeah, I was about to say Morph could be in bio energy. Morph could be in storage speed with two of the thousands and the hundred thousand. Oh, 
Oh my god. This team has potential. Mobile Seekers, Tumors, and Tardis. Uh, Tumors SDK, Tardis required. Uh, we don't know about Tika yet. We have Light required. We have a prime movement system in Doom Entry. So that's probably gonna be. This is a special It's not only that, we have Tardis required with Quarantine Cave having an artifact, we have Lights required with uh, Poison Fork having an artifact. We have uh, <laughs> we have an SDK on Tumors. <laughs> we have Seekers on Amorphous. Uh, and we have Prime all of that within eight minutes of the season. At least the runners know. At least the runners know that the seat is bad, okay? <laughs> yeah, wait. I made my note. This is the whole. This is the whole for the artifacts. What did I miss? Uh, miss my dark beam? <laughs> oh my god. Wolfhole can be anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my What am I doing to them? Those poor souls. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's a big lead for Wendy's. I'm. I'm just curious now which prime player is gonna move first. Is it going to be Slacker or Underground Tunnel could have more for right now, depending on where the uh, depending on where the keys are for a Morbus, that's actually a good follow. Oh my So I think I'd take the items and I'd go to Morbus right now, I Seeker myself and uh, the seekers to get, to get into the underground tunnel and probably go. Those are probably my, those would probably be my best play right here. In the meantime, Slucky is standing next to their barrier suit and this, uh, <laughs> this spice is standing next to their ice beam. Both just waiting for one final item to pick it up. I think we can now say J seats exist. Yes, this is obviously another quality content that I've provided. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like at some point I'll just ping someone for race time and suddenly I can just hear them screaming, No, please. Oh, interesting, Hunchbunny still has Cannonball. I think Callum lost that a while ago. No. <clears throat> Slacky did not softlock. Both players just don't have Morph and don't have Space and have nothing to do. So Slacky is waiting for Space Jump to get... Uh, for Space Jump to get Space... Uh, barrier Suit. And this Spice is waiting for Morph Ball to get Ice Beam. <laughs> I don't know if this is as bad as Toaster 6. Hello, hello bruh, I've done it again. <laughs> oh, next hint, come on, give us something good, come on. Ah, uh, what's the dark- Oh, that's huge for Callum. Callum hasn't found Dark Beam yet. So tell, I think Callum just goes for the hint place right now, which is, which is a very good play in my opinion, because 
given on the progression we already have, now knowing that Darkrim is most likely accessible, Rhyme Morph Ball can be anywhere. Literally. Oh! These spider ball free rooms away from. It can be found exactly free rooms from plasma. And that's a dark suit also. <laughs> that's a dark suit. Oh no. It's a, now it's pot W logic, spider's treasure. Oh my god, the opportunities, the possibilities for both ball and the seed are infinite. There it is. <laughs> and Callum finds bombs. I kind of agree with you there, TGC. The thing is, I don't know what I, I, Hunch Bunny found Dark Beam, but Hunch Bunny decided to not go for uh, Doomed Entry, even though we have the hint for Doomed Entry being a movement system for Prime. So we're probably going to do that right now. Callum's still missing out on Dark Beam. Probably gonna catch up very soon though. I like the idea, Jeff. The problem is that we only have the hint for the movement system. So going from that, it's probably gonna be space jump. Which means uh, it's likely that move ball could also just be a mag more. Exactly, as Brad pointed out, yeah. Also, for anyone that just got in, let me give you a quick summary on this seed. We have an SDK on two moss. We have Amorbus has uh, Amorbus is guarding the Seeker missiles. We have Dardas having an SDK. We have Venomous Pond. We have Security Cave, Poison Bog, Root Cave, Our Chamber, Watch Station, Great Tree Chamber, and Transport Access Fendrana for artifacts. <laughs> Within eight minutes, we had Tumas, Amorbus, Light Suit, and Dardas being required. <coughs> <laughs> oh, the seed. And Dark Miser is also hardly quiet, yes. Uh, it's possible that we'll sit here for a while, yeah. <laughs> Doubt that. I wouldn't say no to being uh, to sit here. Like, this can be... This could take a while. So it looks like Hunch Bunny is going for doomed entry. It's a bit late, but we still have the advantage of the opponents not having Dark Beam. Oh boy. Yeah, I already made the joke of Chica having Dark Visor. Like, we only need the Chica hint for being required, and that's oops all bosses. Ah, oh, come on. It could be worse, still. We have... It appears to be an early space jump for Prime Seed. Yeah, if that's space jump, then congratulations, Prime. You will now get space jump early and not one and a half hours or two hours into the receipt. But it doesn't look like Hunch Bunny is... Going for doomed entry? I really don't like that play. 
With our only info for a major for prime being in doomed entry, we should go this way. Okay, never mind. Now we're going. Yep, that's space jump. Okay, so Callum has Dark Beam. And Callum also read the hint for the movement system. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Space Jump for Stucky in a second. And that should be good. Still, Doomed Entry Space Jump is <laughs> funny. At 30 minutes Space Jump, I think that's a new record for my seats. <laughs> It's not as bad. I think there can't be anything else as bad. Wait, Morph Ball? Morph and Battle Ground. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's so rude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, we probably want that morph ball. It looks like Slucky is immediately going for laps and not fun, uh, not playing around here. It's definitely the right decision. Not Slucky, Callum. I'm getting confused by the team name. Okay, so Prime has options. Prime has movement now. We got some stuff to do in Prime. Oh, there is a Temple Key with two... Uh, and it's a Quad Key. It's Inghive Key 2. Let's go. Oh, boy. Okay, oh no. Slucky is going for... Is that a missile launcher? How can I... How? What? How do we have missile launchers? We started with those. Oh, that's unlimited missiles! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm used to them being big, big, chunky Echoes missile expansions. Okay, so <clears throat> the good message, uh, the good thing is, Punch Bunny does not have to worry about Despise not being able to move for a while. That Ice Beam, Various Suit, Morph Ball, and Space Jump should give us a lot of movement, combined that we have a PB expansion on the Prime side. Uh, we are going for Root K? I don't. I wouldn't do this play right now, given that we know that Arbor Chamber and Root Cave are artifacts. It's probably faster to just come back later with Plasma. That was a 25 minute BK, what feels like. A 20 minute BK for Prime. This is horrible. It truly is. But it looks like both Echoes players have forgotten about the hint. Because... Oh, that was barely not enough for jump cutting. Still getting him down rather quickly. So for Prime, it's now pick your poison on where the next progression will be, because we have lots of opportunities in... Chozo, and we have lots of stuff to do in Magmore. This could actually be a Lava Lake play right here, given that we now have the quality of life in Renovania that those uh, blocks that you have to bomb away in Lava Lake will stay destroyed.
Okay, so we're clearing out Dark Aegon. It looks like this spice is going for Magma here. Also nice vanilla E-Tank. And Callum is making his way towards Space Jump for Slucky. Nope, we're not going towards... Uh, But to be honest, this is a tricky situation. Because we have so much items right now. So that it's really hard to really see where the logic wants us to go. <laughs> so what's in storage C? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, lemon. I am unsure if this spice has main PBs currently. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I'd also like to rush for Emerald Hints right now, or get the rest of Amber Hints. And there is confirmation Amorbus is guarding the Seeker launcher. This was hinted twice now. Interesting. So Seekers would double hint it. Yeah, I'm... We're getting the Spice Recroft. Draft boost and fountain. Oh, that is new info. I should write that down. So if so, if no one, uh, none of the runners can do TTE or TTS out of bounds, then we are going to need Spider Wolf for Prime Heart required. And Slacky can play. Let's go. Uh, despite not checking Dynamo? This could come back to hunt them. Dynamo sometimes really likes to have progression. I am... even I question myself right now how I would route this with my teammate. This is terrible to route right now. But, okay, Slacky gets boosts in his, uh, uh, morph in a second, which puts them basically right next to each other again. Oh, okay, we're going back. Yeah, no, main, uh, no PB is probably gonna be that point. So I was right, and this spice only has a PB expansion, meanwhile Slacky has mains. That's interesting. Uh, 
I mean, indeed. This is a bra moment, literally. <laughs> okay, so... Slacky grabs eyes in a second, and now I'm interested. Will there be a divergence? Will Slacky go into Magmore? We already know that Storage D is not required, unfortunately. Oh well, we don't know what the second layer of main reactor has, though. Oh, Slacky goes for Freaky Crash. I like this a lot. Freaky Crash turned out to be a very big hotspot for new progression. And there is a major. I only saw it for a fraction, but that definitely is a major. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, Friggy Crash side has a lot more pro Oh! <laughs> well, the thing is, Lava Lake is not punishing Slacky anymore because Slacky has main PBs. So, there is no chance Slacky wouldn't be able to pro continue to the rest of Magmore. But also, I kind of like the place like he does here with the freaking crash that climb, even though it's out of logic. Oh, never mind, we're only checking overgrown Kevin. That's sad. I feel like the runners really want to make me eat my words. That's a major. Never mind. Oh, he's going for Abbott. Uh, he goes. He's going for anti chamber, and he only checked overgrown. <gasps> Oh yeah, right, we don't have bombs, that's the fair statement. I, I don't know why I always forget that. It's really, even in my own seats, I'll be sitting there and then, uh... I'm, ju I'm just sitting there and being sad that I can't progress any further. So... Hunch Bunny is probably gonna find main PBs in a second for Prime. And despises doing Zoid. Now, Slacky, what are you going to do? Back to Magmore? Or go, uh, are we going to Chozo? Because I think going to Chozo right here could really well just give us an advantage. Oh, Slacky goes for Magmore, let's go. We get some divergence, we get to see Magmore. Yeah, that Varia also. I, again, I agreed with TGC on going to Magmore early. I don't mind having early Magmore done as soon as possible because it just gives you the confirmation that it's not, uh, that it's nothing there. And now the spice has to reset out of Zoid. And I mean, we personally know that Chozo has, uh, has what feels like no progression in the seed. So, I wonder if Wave... Oh my god, that's Wave! <laughs> I was just about to say, I wonder if Wave Beam turns up very soon. Oh, that is big for Slucky. Oh, let's go. That's actually very big. Oh, come on. That's very big, actually. Because I am so... I... I still don't know when this spice will make their way to Magmore. It looks like Slacky goes for... Yeah, go for Warish Run. It's in Logic and also... Uh, it's two free checks currently. 
That's an Echo's E tank. Uh, Slacky already has the Oxygen 2, so that should be a reasonable amount of E tank for the early game. Oh, but Slacky. Slacky did not check up a fiery source. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two free checks. You need bombs together. It's weird to not have bombs. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, it's very weird to see Echoes have bombs and Prime doesn't. Uh, I'm very sorry. It's brutally hard to keep track of four screens. So, yeah. Hunch Bunny finds Prime's main PBs and this spice is right on track with Slucky again. Depending on where Prime bombs are, Slucky can actually catch up all the time that Callum didn't find Space Jump before. With just being in BK again because no bombs. Oh, never mind, there's bombs. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Oh, for the lord of... <laughs> oh no. Now this is tricky, because now we have open world. This is very tricky. So the Echoes players definitely don't have to uh, be worried about Prime not being able to move ever again. Uh, now the Prime players have to worry that the Echoes players get out of checks at some point. Oh god. Yeah, SDK hints right now would probably be the best idea. Hunch Bunny goes back into Dark Labs? Oh, is this an Incash 1 check? I see. Yeah, otherwise we'd need to kill Amorbus. Oh, what's... Oh, that's Sonic Boom, okay. I was about to say, that looks shiny. So now we're checking. <laughs> okay, this spice gets bombs and Slucky checks upper fiery shores now. Oh my god, is it Pazon? Oh no, it's gravity, but still, holy. <laughs> that's very good for Slucky. That's some very nice damage reduction right there. Oh boy. So, looks like Lucky goes for Fen. I still hope. Oh, it looks like. This spice is also going to clear magma. Uh, I'd still hope to see a safe reset for Tower of Light though. So what I would do is just go to Fen Shoreline, safe, safe, uh, and then walk back to start, checked by a Tower of Light. If it has something for Echoes, good. If it has something for you, go back to Fen. And if it has nothing, just reset. Oh, if Dispice decides to go... There's no way Dispice does not find Wave Beam right here, right? Yeah, okay. Just best is going for wave. It is kind of slow, but given the progression right now on Tower of Light's history and being required, I think that's probably the best play, to be honest. Because you just don't want to isolate Tower of Light in a single moment, and ever. And that is supers and spider required. We have supers, we need spider. 
I know Slucky has seen me do the boost ball strat for that item very, very often. I don't know if Slucky has actually took his time to learn it. Was it Dark Visor? No, it's lucky! Look at it again! I couldn't see it! I couldn't see it, god damn it! Was it Dark Visor? Or was it Echo? Or maybe even a translator? I don't know. Okay, it was Dark Visor. Good. So, that takes out a lot of problems. Because we have a hint that. Elasmus and Echoes. It's exactly three rooms from Spider Ball. I was just a question. Which one's Spider Ball? Yeah, we knew that was a key. We knew it was an artifact. <laughs> now. What do we have on Path of Roots? This hint always likes to troll me. Let's see if I gave the runners a troll hint in here as well. Oh, that's huge! That's very good, actually. If Chica turns out required now, they have the Chica key hint. Did someone see what was in Underground t uh, what was in uh, Pod W? Pen Sank and Helen. Oh, that could be a chicka key in Biohazard then. <laughs> Again, this seed has. This seed has its high moments, I think. This seed has some. Uh, has some opportunities. We have some chances for a really good one. It's impressive how. Uh, impressive how even out this again is, even though Slucky had space jump 10 minutes later. <clears throat> okay, so we're going for the FTA hint. Yeah, probably, again, Echo's going for hints right now is probably the best idea if we don't know the wall crawl for the keys, for the SDK hints. Wait, what is in chapel? Oh, that's an Aegon key in chapel. <laughs> okay, that's next boss required for Prime. Nice. Oh, even though it's only a, a mini boss, it's still a boss. <clears throat> Say hello to Shigov. Say goodbye to Shigov. Ah, poor Shigov always gets PB'd. <laughs> That's the Dark Aegon key one. So we're one key away from having Seekers logical. Interesting. Okay, Slucky's continuing to clear out a uh, to clear out Twelvers. Hunch Bunny is continuing to clear out Aegon. Both play, uh, both prime players are in Fen right now. Thing is, we have Wave Beam and Ice Beam. We have technically access to everything. <laughs> prime is valid as well. Yeah, we have access to everything everywhere. Oh, that was uh, Prime's camera being Prime's camera. Nice. Oh, Callum's major upgrade is where? God damn it. 
What did the hint say? Did someone see it? In cash too. Oh, <laughs> that might be annihilator required. Just pointing that out. Well, that's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, annihilator is required anyway, isn't it? We gotta take the energy from Olir. Or like, we gotta take the, uh, we gotta take the Chumos energy, right? Doesn't Hive Energy Controller have an Annihilator door then? <clears throat> oh god. This is hilarious. Okay, so... Oh, that spider! Oh, wait, wait, wait! That spider! Plasma's three rooms away. Uh, no. If one player picks up an item and it gets sent to the other person and they reset, the item is still for the uh, at the other person's place. Yeah. But that's huge. That spider ball means that we have plasma beam in a second. Possible in a, uh, possibly in a second. It's three rooms away. Wait, three rooms. Three rooms from underground tunnel. What is that? Oh, that's portal chamber. Wait, do we have a hint for boost ball in Dark Torvis Arena? Oh my god. Do we have a vanilla boost ball hint? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. So Plasma Beam is going to be in a uh, portal chamber. Interesting. Oh god. Yeah, I think Toaster would be proud of this seed. So, Slucky is going for Thardis. I like it. We know Thardis has an artifact right now. And also, it's a good pathway into Firefly without having to do laps right now. We have a lot to be seen today. Oh, no, never mind, there's plasma. <laughs> That's plasma. Plasma and hydrodynamo. Let's go. Oh, there's Thermo. There's Thermo and Spider's treasure. Well, now we're getting the divergence in. This is uh, a very weird seed in some ways. Plasma Beam's definitely gonna help Slucky with the Tardis fight though. Yeah, it is. I actually completely forgot that Three Rooms Away could also include the elevator. So yeah, this is definitely... Uh... <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh my god. What have I gent? A French vanilla or even a vanilla boost ball? At least Echoes has spider ball, so we don't have to worry about that being go mode. Prime still probably needs spider ball. And we know Prime Spider Ball isn't Prime. Yeah, Prime has their own spider. 
So that's big in uh, that's good info. The runners keep that in mind. Yeah, at this point probably. So the thing with primes, if you have all beams, you probably just start to full clear everything as fast as possible. No, we don't know where Prime Spider is, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, Slucky will have to do the slope jump. I actually did not think about Slucky having to do that. I hope Slucky practiced it, because this is definitely not an easy slope jump. And it was now that Slucky realized we don't have Spider. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Yep, it's lucky. You got it. So, Callum is definitely immediately going for that boost ball. It would actually be hilarious if that's vanilla boost. Yeah, the slope jump can be a uh, the slope jump can be very very nasty sometimes. It can be a very hard slope jump. But if you know when to jump, it gets a lot more uh, a lot easier. Was that boost ball? Okay, it was a French vanilla boost ball in a French vanilla location. But still bad. <laughs> Yeah, nicely dunk, Slucky. That's a really tough slope jump. Even I, even I don't know a person that can say, "Hey, I'm getting this every time first try." That slope jump can screw everyone. Okay, so Slucky's gonna save walk here, or are we just saving in case Labs doesn't have anything? And it looks like Callum resets out of uh, Boost Guardian. Yeah, it takes me like. It takes me five minutes as well, probably. This. The, this. This. Uh, this, this uh, I can't talk anymore. This particular slope jump can be very, very bad. I would still say the slope jump on the other side is even worse, so you can still slope jump up to Qmon, and that's even worse. Okay, this spy's made their way through laps. It doesn't look like laps had anything big. So now we're in a position where we get a lot of upgrades and just nothing really comes into play anymore and we won't find progression as fast. So I'm just wondering where... What do we need right now? So we definitely still need Phazon, we need Spider-Ball potentially for Prime, We but though we know that's not a power bomb check. Thank you. Okay, that's a power bomb expansion though. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna need annihilator. We're probably gonna need seekers. The seekers are hinted twice, and none of the runners went for SDKs yet. We are going to need dark visor, which is accessible right now. Yep, we already knew that poison frog would be... Yeah, and light suit is also something. Okay, so... This spice does not have boost ball currently. Can't check plasma processing. If plasma processing has something that could be very, very sad for this price. Because most of the time you want to try to minimize backtracking.
That's SDK six. Okay, good to have some SDKs. Was it? Uh, was that actually the first? Or... No, it's I think the second one that we've picked up at all. Holy. This seed is not really like us today. Okay, so Hunch Bunny is slowly catching up to Callum now doing the Torvis checks. No, Chica is still unknown. Could well still be required given the amount of progression we had in the last 20 minutes, which was basically nothing. Last progression was Spider Ball and Plasma. So we are boost ball away from having Sank Entrance be a thing. I'm just pointing that out. I mean, there's still a lot of progression that could be on Chica. We still need Light Suit, Annihilator, we need Phase on Suit. We need, probably need Spider Ball if there's something in low 12 -ers. So we're still missing some majors. But it doesn't seem like it's hinted in any of the three regions, so maybe we find Cobalt soon and go into Sank? Maybe Sank will be our answer? That's definitely the validation for this spice though, and that makes both prime players validated. Let's go. Okay, we're seeing nice dashes on the right for the, from the spice for Tower of Light. Let's go, nicely done. Another SDK. Now what's Tower Chamber? Uh, that also makes this Tower of Light required, so Tower of Progression. And a Cheeseburger, let's go. That's actually not a bad Tower of Light. Okay, so Slack is opting for clearing as much as possible. What bites me is... We probably have access to the last key for Aegon, given that it's in, uh, somewhere in Torvus, uh, in Talon. And we can access basically every check in Talon. So, I'm just asking myself why we're still skipping Seekers. Okay, Callum is safe warping, leaving Torvus with that. Hunch Bunny is about to find Spider, and with that, probably finding Plasma very, very soon. Yes, we can do every check in the game minus PMT and minus uh, Rune Fountain. And Rune Fountain, on the other hand, has <laughs> Graph Boost. Yeah, I think SDK hints are probably our best option right here. We don't know if spiders required yet. We don't know if spiders required yet. We only know that uh. A graph boost is in. Uh, a graph boost requires spider. Um. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we have we have prime boost ball in. What's it called? Dark Torvus Arena, in the SDK pickup. Echo spider is always required, but prime spider is. I mean, 
We are going to need... Of course we are going to need Prime Spider Ball to get through Crater Tunnel B, right? How else we go through that room? But besides of Crater Tunnel B, I'm pretty sure our runners can skip Spider Ball if Graph Boost isn't required. Looks like Callum has some problems screw tacking into the tube right now. Does not look like Callum is lined up properly. There we go. Nicely done. And Slacky is doing artifact cleanup as it looks like. Where could the last Aegon key be? I guess if it's if it wants to be paired, it could be in Frigate, but we can do all of Frigate. We can do Life Growth Tunnel, we can do Life Growth. And Great Tree Chamber is an artifact. We know it's not Overgrown Cavern, so it must be somewhere around there. No, we have not seen SDK hints. Okay, Defile Shrine is dead. This bias continues into... Uh, this bias continues into Chozo. Oh, Hunch Bunny is about to find Despise Plasma, though. So we're probably gonna get a trick here. Never mind. Oh, we did. Okay, we can reach it by normal. I was pretty sure we would uh, get to see air underwater right here. So biggest finds now would be Prime Boost Ball would be helpful. What's that? A missile? On this buy screen? So we need phase on light suit, dark visor, annihilator. And Prime can full clear every check in the game. And Slacky went back into quarantine cave? Did Slacky not check human? Oh we don't have grapple. Well, unfortunately, Hunch Bunny, you did not kill the worm yet. You don't have Seekers. And Callum, you don't have a PB. You're gonna get blocked. Nicely done, Slacky. Nicely done, Par 2 for that. And this guy is about to... probably do anti-chamber? Which, I mean, it's some logic. We have everything we need for that. Well, actually, no, we don't have Spider, so this will probably only be Hall of the Elders. Unless this spice knows the HBJ, which would be impressive. HBJs aren't easy. Oh, I see. Slacker didn't do an Arlash. I see. Okay, yeah, so it's exactly as I called. Slacky will now f just full clear. It's really just full clear mode for Prime. Though I really don't like that we're not going for the Seeker missiles right here. Like, we have the knowledge about, uh, about the last Amorbus key. We should be grabbing it. A 
Oh, that's light suit. That's light suit. Oh, that's big for despise and hunch bunny. That's big for Wendy's dollar menu. Oh, light suit and all of the elders. Why is it always the suit down there? Yeah, I'd also say go for the hint. But well, bra, you do need to keep in mind that this uh, the hint also requires a walk. -off. Annihilator? Oh, Elder Chamber Annihil. Oh my God, that is a packed, and uh, that is a very very packed Hall of the Elders. Holy. Hall of the Progression, indeed. This is... <laughs> what? What is this Chozo? What the hell? Oh my god, that's... We did not fight a progression for like 20 minutes and now it's three progressions back to back to back? What? And now Echoes also has a main pr uh, has a major item in in cash too, which we can now also grab. So if the runner reminds, uh, if the runner remember, this could be big. Another cheeseburger for Prime. Okay, we take it. Slacky probably safe whopping here and also going for uh, Chozo. Meanwhile, we're seeing Great Tree Hall for the first time. And, and oh, Callum continues into Sank. Let's go. But yeah, that lets us grab this. Oh no, we still don't. We still don't have Dark Visor. Is the biggest issue. We need to find that Dark Visor at some point. Oh, Slucky. Come on, be the big brain. Come on, Slucky. Yes, you want to do it. Do it. Okay, Slucky is going for... Yeah, Dark Passer should be Ice Runes East, actually. Yes! Oh, Hunch Bunny and Dispice don't have that! They didn't grab it! Callum has Dark Visor. And Slucky, I, Slucky either goes into Frigate right now or does, uh, or does Frigate Crash Time. Second of both would be brilliant right now. Oh my god. So, Dispice and Hunch Bunny had the lead for a second here, and now Slucky will find all those three majors back to back to back, and get the lead back instantly. Oh my god, this race. Holy! <laughs> this is... And this has been an amazing race so far. I'm very impressed. Oh, and that's Chicka Key too. Are we going to see a blind Chicka fight? Oh, is, go is this place going for the Amobus Key here? Although I think we did not see. Oh, we did not. Yeah, this place doesn't have boost! This place can't do. Oh my god, this place can't even do life growth. Oh no. So if life growth is the Amorbus key, that means Lucky gets the Amorbus key first. Yes, that is boost. Grab it. Let's go, Slucky. Okay, so Hunch Bunny is now clearing. Dark Torvus, you need to be careful with those puffers. Those puffers deal a huge amount of damage. Not fun to go through this room. Can confirm. Yeah, uh, no, the boost ball was in, uh, the boost, uh, the prime one boost ball was in Dark Torvus Arena. Which Dispice and Hunch Bunny do not, 
Why why aren't we not picking that up though? Like we were we basically have access to this ever since we got that hint. And I mean prime boost ball isn't as important. But Echo's boost ball can actually lock you out of checks, so you probably still want to check that. And there's Light Suit for Callum. And there's Annihilator. <laughs> so, we did not get the Amorbus key in Frigate yet. This means if there is. Oh. We need to go back to. Uh, we need to go back to Live Grove very soon. We need that Amorbus key. But it doesn't look like Slucky's interested in doing that. Yeah, and it looks like Despise is also getting boost ball very soon, which makes them able to go to Live Grove. Meanwhile, Slucky is trying to do watch station. We know it's an artifact, but I guess it's good to grab now and not having to backtrack. The respites in this room can it make uh, can make it painful though. This guy's made it out of frigate. Probably not gonna enter mines instantly. We probably want to wait here for boost ball in a second, if it's our boost ball at least. And the door is not opening. It's lucky fights, uh, it's lucky is going to fight so it now. Better now than never. Even though Slot was deleted in this scene. So yeah, this is a life pro play here, as I said. Yeah, it's just in time. And yes, lucky. Uh, yeah, we're, again, as the prime player, the best thing you can do is just hold me at this point. There's no real way to say where's your BK. We're basically BK minus. Uh, we're basically full clear minus spider, which is still full clear, and minus PMT, of course. But well. Oh god, Spider Bomb and Flagro would be painful. Callum is deciding to go for Cold Rexes right now. It's not a bad play given that Prime still has a good chunk of movement options. We still just. Oh, it looks like Dispice has problems getting up to uh, Life Growth without Spider. Yeah, we didn't completely stand on the, the uh, real side of the pillar. Now this should work, though. 
So if we now don't bonk, this should give us the height. Yeah, there we go. So doing quad right now is good because we need the energy. And we got stunned, unfortunately. <laughs> life growth tunnel being life growth tunnel as always. Oh, that's unlimited beam ammo. That's gonna be nice for Hunch Bunny. And there's the last worm key. Oh, never mind, that's a chicka key. Wait, was it a chicka key hint then? Oh, it was a chicka key. It wasn't a quad, uh, it wasn't an Amorbus key hint, which means Amorbus. Oh, Amorbus key could be anywhere. So now, this spy's gotta do a good R jump to get out of here. Slucky entered phase 2 for Quadrexus. As yes, Slucky, Callum. Slucky is about to have Chozo completely full cleared. I don't know if we're going to see plant here, to be honest. I'd not deny it being useful, given that the seed already is bad. Uh, the question is, is this spice now gonna just dip into mines? I'd probably like that. Yeah. Uh, Echo is logically required for Quad because we can't see invisible objects in tournament logic. It's just helpful. You can still hit the antennas and you can still hit the middle one. It's just a lot more helpful to have Echo. Oh, it's lucky. Slucky's disappointed. It was indeed not ice spreader. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but there's another SDK. No. So Quadrexus really only needs an uh, echo in theory. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree. Echo would be helpful. We don't know if Echo is required yet because we don't have hints. Oh my god, please don't tell me Echo is going to be required. <laughs> please. Let the runners not suffer today. Let them feel mercy. <laughs> Okay, so this spice goes into mines. This looks like it could be an SDK hints play from Hunchbun. Oh wow, did that quad antenna really just tank a whole super missile? What the hell? Oh yes, yeah, you're right. We still have the Echo's major item in Incash too. Nicely done, Callum. Good snipe. And Hunch Bunny is going for uh, Fall of the Honored Dead. Slucky is probably gonna go towards Tower of Light here soon. Yeah, Cobalt would also be very helpful, I agree. Getting hints in general could be a big game changer right here.
unfortunately we know that most of these checks are already dead so the only big checks we can get right now are Callum with being an ing hive and this spice being a mines. It looks like there's something in storage depot A that we like to get. Yeah, Tower of Light had an SDK. We knew about that already. Now, what's in here? <laughs> really? That's the last warp key? <laughs> that is the last warp key? That's our logical seeker missiles 1 hour 30 in. <laughs> because one of the keys decided to be on flamethrower. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Hunch Bunny is probably immediately gonna go for those Seekers. I'd still like to see us go for... Well... Question is, do we even go for the Major in Incash 2? Because we're still missing... I think Sunburst and Darkburst have not turned up, uh, have not turned up yet. We're still missing grapple. We know it can't be graph boost. We know it can't be seekers. So it could be echo, grapple, cobalt, dark burst, sunburst. Oh, quad hand and SDK. <laughs> so you couldn't even quad skip. <laughs> even if you wanted to. Oh, Darkburst and Sunburst are there? Nice. Oh boy. <laughs> this seed sure as hell just wanted to be long. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, there's Grapple. Okay, never mind. That makes Echo even more likely. Oh no. Echo or Cobalt did this now in Incash 2. And Bonk. Unfortunately, Callum. So yeah, we're going for the Amorbus fight immediately. We want those Seeker missiles because they also give us access to SDK hints right here. Slucky is probably gonna go for the Mines play at this point. It would probably be the wisest play, to be honest. We only have some simple stray checks in the most regions, and Mines has just too high potential of being loaded. Okay, so... Both teams are basically even right now, given that... Slackholds, Echoes players in the lead, and uh, Wendy's Prime players in the lead. So that's big. Why is not head to Incash 2 if you're heading to Immobiles? Might as well. I mean, maybe on the way back, there's still the probability that we're going to see uh, Incash 2. But I think STK hints will just be way too important at this point because we need to know what Echoes is actually requiring. So yeah, Slucky is on their way towards mines. We are probably gonna see a bar skip play here. Hazel? 
Where was Face and Suit? Oh, <laughs> story she pulled B Face on. Oh my god. Yeah, well, that definitely puts Wendy into a big lead here. That definitely gives us a big lead here for Wendy's dollar menu. Though... I want to say Slacky will go there soon enough as well. So this might still come out on how the Echoes players route this. But even then, Hunch Bunny right now has the last worm key which gives us access to Seekers, which will allow us a lot more mobility. So we're gonna see how this plays out. That's just an Echo Z tank in PPC. Slucky trying to go for the cool strat. I'll accept your style points, Slucky. But you probably should just go for the checks. Yeah, as you can artifact clean up, Team Slacko is definitely on top. It's definitely coming out here. But, uh, the problem is just... Yeah, warning, Dark Heat the Sphere is dangerous. Some safe zones must be shut to function. The problem is just that these Seeker missiles gives access to SDK hints. And phase on suit is already a big profit. Well, that was a new strat I did not see, ever. Interesting. That's just an E-Tank. I'd probably not do the mace for that. Oh god. Oh god, that mace. Oh god! That was a very, very bad maze. Also, Slucky, you need to R jump. Nice. Nicely done, Slucky. This spice makes it out of the maze. And Hunch Bunny has successfully gotten the Seekers. In the same time, the Callum gets a Tumos SDK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are we walking? We're going back to top, that's interesting. So, we're probably just going for... Uh, we're pr are we treating this as if we're in go mode? How much SDKs do the teams actually have? It's very bad for me to see, to be honest. We're on 6-6 six, six, and on... Free, free. Okay. So. This is. Huh. We have access to every prime artifact. If Echoes. So if Echoes doesn't need. Uh, if Echoes doesn't need anything from Prime anymore, it's probably just best to hunt down the artifacts and just let Prime finish. Well, this will... This was actually... This is completely open. Oh, Slacky, you're not doing yourself a favor with using Spring Ball for this trick. While Spring Ball makes a lot of things easier, Bar Skip is not one of those things that get easier. Bar Skip is something that gets a lot harder if you use Spring Ball. Yeah, this guy still did not pick up Dark Visor. Oh, that could come down to bite them. 
Ooh. Oh no. That could be a big issue though. Ice Rooms East Plasma Plasma check in Ice Rooms East is Ah uh, or will be Dark Visor. We why do we not continue to lower mines? I am confused about this right now. Okay, we're saving. But why are we safe warping? What check are we missing right now? Come on, Slucky, you got this. So, bar skip can be a lot... Oh, Cobalt in cash too, yeah. That was... Uh, though that was not what Hunch Bunny was planning to see. Absolutely not at all. Prime Spider is missing, yeah. Sank map possible. It would also be hilarious if Prime Spider just turns out on Spider Guardian, to be honest. That would be amazing. Okay, so we're picking up Root Cave. Yeah, right. Uh, I think Slucky's still missing Root Cave and Arbor Chamber as well. So we're not that far off for Slucky to be in go mode. They're probably playing for the phase suit hint at this point, though... Slucky did not touch mines at all. I don't know if this is a good play, because the phase suit is in phase mines. <laughs> as always. Always has been. But we're going to see the remaining SDKs, and with that we're going to see if Echo is required. And then we only need the hinted Echoes on Chica, and that's uh, a good seed. Okay, we're entering Mag Morrigan. Now, moment of truth, where are the SDKs? Okay, Slucky so also just got Arbor Chamber. Is that every artifact for Slucky then? Yes it is, so Slucky's going for the face and suit hint. This might save Slucky and Callum, depending on if Callum can get SDK hints without Seekers. This would be a really important moment now. I think Callum should be able to do it. But it doesn't look like we're going for that. Okay, moments of truth. Transport A access. That is easily accessible. 
I'm wondering why we haven't picked that up yet. That's underneath the safe station, right? Five temple. Good content. Training chamber access. <laughs> Dino Dynamo Spider Ball! <laughs> spider Ball's required! Tower of Light. Why did we not give the SDKs already? Sync Map Station is an SDK! <laughs> ah, that, that, that Cobalt is required! That Cobalt is required! Oh my god, that is an advantage for Dispies now! That is an advantage for Wendy's dollar menu now. Holy moly. And Tumos also has an SDK. We have Cobalt. Cobalt is an in cache too. It's annihilator locked. Control tower. Like again, we should have probably just ga uh, put the SDKs in place and and TTS. Spider ball is double required. We need it for TTS, and we need it <laughs> for Dynamo. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure if the lower Dynamo item wasn't even an SDK. I don't know if it's the upper. Like, why did we not... Yeah, exactly, just turn in the keys. Now you can still see which keys are missing. It's upper, uh, it's upper dynamo. I see. So that really hard requires Prime Spider for them. And unless they know the wall crawl, which I wouldn't think they do, because that's actually a pretty tough wall crawl. Or the boost into the item is pretty tough. You still don't have Dark Visor, unfortunately. Punch Bunny, you're still missing Dark. Oh. Oh, but we're getting Dark Visor right now. That's a bit late, but that means they remembered for Dark Visor. The question is, you guys are in go mode. This is... We should probably just hunt... Well, okay, go mode minus Prime Spider Ball. We should probably just hunt down Prime Spider then. Lucky will now continue to try to bar skip, probably. Oh no, we're going through Magma. <clears throat> okay, so we're going through Magma, trying to find that phase and suit. And now we need to keep in mind Prime has its own Spider Ball. Spider will be somewhere in mines. The question is where? Because I just have no idea where Spider even could be in the end. It can't be in lower mines. And that's double damage. No, it can't be in Echoes. We had a hint that Echoes, uh, for the Spider Ball, and Echoes had its own Spider. So it has to be in Prime. The question is where? Because it can't be beyond MQA. MQA Spiderless is never ever in logic. It's not PPC. And I think we checked everything of upper mines. Oh, I think we did not check Chozo Ice Temple, that's right. Yeah, we have some very straight checks, and one of those straight checks is Spider. So right now, we're still missing the Amorbus key for supers, uh, for seekers for Slacko, and then for Wendy's dollar menu, we're still missing Spider. For both teams, actually, we're still missing Spider. Yeah, Flagra would also still be a possibility, I guess. But Flagra Spider, come on! I I know I gen garbage, but. 
that would be more than just garbage. That would be a very big amount of... <laughs> that would be a very big amount of garbage. Oh my god, spider right here in plasma processing? No, I... I think it can't even be in plasma processing. Spiders require for this, logically. Oh yeah, the spice is going towards Flagra, you're right. No! Punch Bunny, please, you have cannon. Don't do it. No! Punch Bunny did such a good job with keeping Cannonball. Oh god damn it. Oh, well, well. This is a terrible seed. So we still do not have Echo. Is this an... I'm pretty sure we've already seen Phase and Grounds. Is this an... In is this an Ingreliquary play? Because that's just Sonic Boom, yeah. But we knew that already. Maybe it was Callum going there? Okay, let's see. Will it be on plan? Do we have a required flagra? Reliquary was a missile. It uh, was a missile related upgrade, exactly. That's why I was about to say Reliquary would not be. Oh my f. Oh my god. It is Spider Ball on flagra. And I was, uh, someone called that, someone was like one and a half hours ago was like, watch Spider be on planned. Which one of you was that, huh? Which one of you has to say, I called that? Yeah, that's like nearly every major boss required now. Now, put anything go mode required behind Echo and uh... Have Echo be in PCA and that's every boss required. A Flagra hit a Flagra head spider. I can't believe this. And I was like, I know I drink garbage, but that bad? Come on, I'm not getting this bad of a seed. Apparently I do. <laughs> oh no. Am I gonna get yelled at during the interview? Oh no, Slucky, he made eye contact. Oh, nice snipe there. Okay, at least ghosts were not required. I mean, see, yeah, exactly, see? This seat isn't so bad. I could have put space jump. <laughs> I could have put space jump in Central Dynamo. And yes, that is possible. <laughs> we had it in a practice. Well, again, we still are missing majors. We're still missing Echo Visor, and we. Well, we're probably not gonna need Echo anymore. <clears throat> so, Wendy's dollar menu is now in go mode. The big problem is just that the Amorbus key and the Phasen suit that puts Lucky and Callum in go mode are in the upper mines and... Oh, Slucky doesn't have spider! Oh no... Oh, Slucky doesn't have spider, and spiders aren't planned. Oh no. This is very bad. I... I don't think Slucky is going to be able to pull off spiderless shafts here. Oh 
Oh god, this makes it bad. Yeah, Graph Boost was spider locked. We knew about that. Graph Boost was also required for DPS. It's an SDK. So at this point, we just really want to hunt down our last artifacts and our last SDKs, and that's it. That was too early of a jump for this spice, unfortunately. Though, to be fair, Magma Pool Dash is not an easy dash. Oh, Training Chamber. Training Chamber Axis is an SDK, though. We have gravity. We can stand on the rubble and just jump up to the item. Wait, does this place not know about the rubble? From 1 to Observatory Dash. I, I'm gonna say Observatory Dash is a lot easier than Magma Pool. In the, um, uh, it depends on which, uh, how you dash Observatory, but you can dash Observatory very easy. Magma Pool, in my opinion, is a lot harder. Because you have to actually bend this dash backwards to get the required... Uh, to even get as far as you need the dash to go. And especially for people that are new to dashing or don't understand how to bend dashes, this can be cruel. Oh, Slucky is going for the Hundo dash? Actually? Slucky? Unfortunate. Yeah, you can't R jump that. You, uh, you can't R dash that. You need to bend the dash backwards and to the left. Which sounds stupid. It sounds stupid because it is stupid. But well. I mean, this spice has gravity. We could technically just stand on the stolen rubble and just jump up to the platform. Hey, we're picking up Sync Map. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Magma Pool is definitely harder than Observatory. Because again, Observatory, you don't have to da uh, to bend. This, either you have a very godlike dash, or you need to bend this dash backwards. You want to basically, depending on your position, you just hold backwards or hold forward on the control stick and bend it. Slucky is also doing a very tricky dash, where you have to bend the dash backwards and to the right. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Never mind, okay, Slucky, let's go. Well, okay, you can also just jump to a collision that I've never seen in my life. <laughs> I think there was the any person standable. And Chica's dead. Unfortunate. At some point I must have mercy with the runners.
Okay, so this could still... Oh, Echoes in Fungal Hall. That's interesting. This is... Uh, this is still opened up, actually, then. Oh god. So, depending on when Slucky does spider, uh, does the plan and finds Spider, this could still turn out in Slucky's and uh, in Callum's favor. Okay, so looks like this spice is going for plasma processing. Again, I am very confused on what we are looking for. Also, we can't. Oh, this spice has a problem. We can't use the dash point anymore or like the slam in the lava anymore because we picked up grapple beam. Oh, we picked up a pacing suit in that point. Not grapple. It's possible that we're looking for grapple, but grapple can be in so many places right now. In so many, in so many very bad places, and logically it is required. Watch Grapple be on OP or PCA. Oh my god. Good quick face. Now we're not going for trooper skip. Okay, so uh, while Callum is doing spider guard, oh my god, we have like a major, major, major boss fight. The only person not fighting a major boss is Hunch Bunny. So spider guardian and echoes is a bit tricky because you gotta activate the bomb slots in the correct time for it to run into the electrical fences. Fortunately. We got that rather quickly. Oh my god! That's Rebel Beam for Slucky. On Spider Guardian. That was Rebel Beam. On Spider Guardian. Oh my god! <laughs> It keeps getting better. <laughs> it keeps getting better and better. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. This spice, please get the standable. <laughs> you don't want to have to do that. Oh no. You know, sometimes I'm pressing the gem button and thinking it's not gonna be as bad as the last time. And now I'm just sitting here <laughs> and feeling bad. Oh no. Oh god. Also, Slacky, you might wanna look out not to die here. Because OP deals a lot of damage and you are very low on E. I don't think OP is going to be required, no. 
And I don't think OP will have a major item. I'm still sure that Slacky will go for uh, the plant soon. Nice! And you're done, Slacky. It was an E-Tank, actually. Nice. <laughs> We're getting healed. Now the question is, and that could determine this race, is Hunch Bunny going for Spider Guardian right here? This could now determine the race right here. Oh my god. Punch Bunny is not going for Spider Guardian. Watch Station Security Cave. And Poison Box still missing. Echo's grapple, to be honest, I don't know. It's, again, very hard to keep up with full screens. I'm sorry if I'm missing out on something, by the way. I'm really sorry. Uh, Punch Bunny, though, deciding not to go for Spider Guardian right here. Not finding grapple, so that uh, means that this spice won't be able to pick up that SDK. This could drastically change the outcome of this race now. It all comes down to Slucky fighting Flagra and going into early fen. Uh, into early mines. Okay, Slacky is going for Frigate. Oh boy. And there is a quad key logically required him. <laughs> Logical required quad key in main gyro. <laughs> oh, and we're going to see Eri, by the way. Oh, dear God. Oh. What is this? Also, we're getting bullied by Dark Pirates. And Hunch Bunny yet has to pick up Quadrex's energy or kill Quadrex's. Both. Still not done. <clears throat> Yeah, Ares got nothing, but hey, we still gotta see Dark Samus. And Annihilator should still deal very good damage, especially with double damage. Oh, never mind. I expected it to do a lot more damage, to be honest. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, right, use Dark Beam against Dark Samus. In my opinion, this is by far the hardest Dark Samus fight. French Vanilla Artifact, let's go. So both players have something that puts them in the lead.
It's Lucky and Callum already being done with the SDKs and artifacts, basically. Only needing Prime Spider. And Seekers. And it's Dispice and Hunch Bunny having info about the SDKs and having Seekers. And Prime Spider. But Dispice does not have the grapple that they need for the SDK. This is chaos. Okay, so Callum has defeated Dark Samus too. Ari won't have anything, sadly, but still, we count that as a nicely done Ari. Oh! Hunch Bunny is going for Spider Guardian? Yep, that will probably do it for us. Oh! Oh, Slack is going for early mines! Oh my god, that is huge. Wait. If Slacky now finds the Aegon key, and Slacky uh, then fights Flagra, we're still in. This is getting brutally close, but this is still open for both teams then. Yeah. Just grab the key, grab Phazon, and then Ultra Instinct into Flagra, please. We need Spider Ball from Flagra to get a uh, graph boost because TTS has an SDK. As I called it, the TTS or TDE would have an SDK. Yeah, Metro Prime 1 Spider is on Flagra. Ari, unfortunately, was not the answer to our problem. And Hunch Bunny is on their way now to find Spider Ball. So this could be, this could be them entering full go mode right here. Well, not could be, this is them entering full go mode. While Slucky and Callum are very close to enter full go mode, it's only Slucky needing Pazin Suit, which is in mines, and Callum needing, uh, well, Slucky needs to also kill Flagra. We need Phasen Seal Flagra and Slacky needs to pick up the last Amorbus key right here on uh, on Flamethrower. Yeah, I think Slackel was the higher seed. I could be wrong though. Let me look into the brackets. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. Give me just a second, I can find that out. I see. And that's go mode for them. So we're probably gonna see an instant save warp. Yep, we are going to see a 360 into an instant save warp. And now it's only grabbing the last SDKs and artifacts. No. We're not seeing a save warp. Interesting.
we're not seeing a safe wall. What are, what are you, what is the spice looking for? Did we not realize that we're on go mode here? Interesting. I don't think there was a key in lower mines, no. Like, again, Slucky never entered. Well, Slucky did lower mines, but I don't think there was an SDK. SDKs were basically all in echoes, what feels like. Maybe, yeah. That's not a bad point, actually. Oh, that was, uh, that was uh, Echo Scrapple. It wasn't Philip. I see. Oh. If they're looking for Echo for Quadraxis, that could also give Slucky... Oh my god, that could give Slucky and Callum a chance here. Yeah. Hunch Bunny is again safe warping. At least it looks like that. Where was Echo? Oh, I see. Yeah, we're still safe warping. Why are we? Yeah, they just got Echo. And the question is, why don't we still save reset if we have Echo now? Okay, so this spice is gonna go for fighting OP very soon here. Meanwhile, Slucky's gonna find Phasen Seal in just a second, and then it's only Slucky routing into Spider. Once Slucky routed into Spider, that's go mode for both teams. Because both teams have basically full trackers by now. Wait. Does Hunch Bunny maybe... Mm, does Hunch Bunny maybe think we need all quad keys? I mean, it is a possibility. If they don't know about the skip with Annihilator or the gate skip, it's a possibility that they need all keys. Enjoy your phasing suits, Lucky. Now think, you have Mines full cleared, you have Fenrana full cleared, you have Magma full cleared, you only have Flagra left. This would be the perfect moment, Lucky, to just do the plant. It's look, it looks like we're still looking for the last Quadrex's key. How much keys do they have? How much keys does Wendy Stollerman you have for Quad? They have one! If they don't know the skip, they still need to find two Quad keys, and we did not have a Quad key hint yet. Oh no, Ivan is shooting at us. No! Ivan! No! Oh 
Oh, there was a hive key and I see. Okay, so we're going for Yeah, you probably just want to save warps, Lucky. Now that's an SDK, but what will you do now? I see the FDA it was for quad keys. Good. Then still, we need all quad keys. All Slacky would need to do would be fight Spider, uh, would be fight Flagra, and that would be go mode for Callum and Slacky. Because Callum can now do uh, Amorbus and will do Amorbus in a second. And it looks like Slacky is going for Flagra. Are we going for Chozo? Please make this such a close match, please. Oh, we're going for Chozo. We are definitely rolling for Flagra because Slacky has cleared everything else. This is going to be a close, close match now. Flagra is always accessible so long ago. If there's progression on Flagra, you're just gonna last location it in 99% of the cases. Because you just got other checks to do that are faster and have more chance of being progression. That's the problem with Flagra. That's also why I'm happy that Thardis requires Thermal again. Because that at least gives you the hint to, hey, just do Thardis. Thardis has something. Before, Thardis, uh, before this tournament, Thardis didn't require Thermal for a while. And in that time, Thardis had progression like nothing. Because Thermal did not need it to be placed before. Yeah, look at your map. See see the two blue rooms? The very big blue rooms? No, Slucky, please. What is Slucky doing? Where are we going, Slucky? You don't have spider. You can't do flagra from behind. It's the only item that's missing in your tracker that you don't have. No, don't take the elevator. All right, we're taking the elevator. <clears throat> yeah, Slack, uh, yeah, Callum is getting Seekers in just a second here. Which, I mean, it's available. Uh, it's valid. We gotta use those for SDK hints, though. Oh, we never checked Lava Lake? Are we now go? Okay, now we're going back for Chozo. Please. Slacky. Please. Go for the plant. We want to have a good show here. Go for the plant. If it's really them needing the quad keys and not them misrouting, uh, just making a misrouting, that could be big. But Prime is ship saving. Are we going for Artifact Temple right here? This... I mean, still not killing, uh, not killing uh, Quadraxes for a while is slow. Uh, 
It looks like we're really going for a ship safe here. And going to fire relay. Though I'm still unsure why Hunch Bunny did not fight what the first three times we were in Sank, because you usually really just don't want to backtrack. And if they now finish and they don't know the skip, and there's one of the Inghype keys should be, I think, in Prime, that could be very bad. Well, Hunchbunny no, now only has to kill Quad, bring the energy back, and that's it. But still, we're missing two Quad keys, so Hunchbunny must know the skip then. Yeah, but the thing is, you uh, you would have uh, they could have killed what a lot earlier. They were in Inghide right next to it and did decide not to do what, which is very slow. So this is confusing me right now, but maybe it's just routing wise. Definitely something we gotta ask during the interview. Oh, Slack is going for the spider ball. Unfortunately, last location in it. I mean, Slucky needs to go for spy, uh, plant right here to win the race. If they route this well, they can definitely. As soon as. Uh, basically, as soon as Slucky picked up that. Uh, as soon as Slucky picked up that graph boost, it's only for the Echoes players to race, basically. But I guess we now have official J seats. <laughs> Lagra having spider balls is probably the worst thing Lagra can have. And having a required spider ball is even worse. Yeah, that door is unfortunately locked. Thanks, Lucky. You don't want to do ghosts now. It looks like Hunch Bunny is going for Quad now. Oh, this is clo this is going to be close though, because Callum is already now in uh, Torvis in a second. Slucky picks up Graph Boost any second, then Slucky already has Ridley killed, so they won't have that much time. It, where are the last two SDKs that Callum is missing? Damn it. It's TTS and... What else was it? Oh, Sank Map, I think. I think Callum still does not have... Oh, it's Dynamo. Then they could still win this. This is not over. This is going to be absolutely close. Oh my lord. I did not expect this race to go so close in the end. Just take the fountain. Take it slow.
Okay, that's graft boost. Oh, this is <laughs> this is getting hyped right now. This is getting heated here. Depending on how good Slucky's EXO is, we might have five minutes extra once Callum finished. Because I'm pretty sure Callum will finish first here. Or Callum will finish before Hunchbunny, let's say it like this. Upper Dynamo having an SDK is very bad. Okay, and that's a reset to ship, I guess. Yeah, because Spider Ball was not required for us. So that's even faster. Oh, this is going to be so close. Because we start, still gotta go to O'Lear, give the energy back. And then safe warp. Oh, I can even feel my pulls right now going up. Holy. <laughs> and now we're in phase two. Okay. So phase two quad, last subchamber exo, exo subchamber one soon, and emperor ink soon. Oh my god, this is so close. Slucky's, uh, Callum is definitely going to finish first for the Echoes players. This Spice will finish first for the, prime, uh, for the Prime players, though. Okay, so Slacky will probably enter Exo here in a minute, even before Essence is dead. Callum is going for the final boss right now. Oh god. I did not expect this to come this close. So I think this is actually going to be a seat where we gotta look at the time exactly because how the way uh, the way how CGC is getting timed is once uh, the first player finishes, we look at the time and basically as soon as Slacky finishes, we gotta count the time that it took Slacky to finish. And once Callum then finishes, Punch Bunny will have that as an extra time to uh, finish. Basically, since the sum of best or the sum of the times is still lower, that would make Despise and Hunch Bunny win. But if the sum of time is higher, that would give Slucky and Callum the win. Because Callum is already going to final bosses right here. Oh, that's a four pool. And Essence is in a very bad position there. Okay, that's better. Did not get pool skipped. That is G for this spice.
Oh my god, this is getting close. Holy! That is G for this spice with 2 hours 35, 18. But Slucky and Callum are on the way to final bosses. With Slucky already fighting, Callum being there in just a second. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I think this comes down to how well Slucky's Emperor Ing and Dark Samus will be. Uh, not Slucky's, how bad, uh, how good Slucky's Echo's final bosses will be would probably determine this race. In the end, I have to say, this was such a good race seat for the restream. <laughs> but a terrible seat for the races. And we have double damage, right. I... Yeah, okay, both sides have double damage. Both sides basically full cleared their games. Oh no! Callum doesn't have PBs anymore. Oh, Callum is getting bullied by the Ings. That was a good entering free though. Just don't get centered is the main objective here now. If we get a DS4 skip they could they will probably actually win this. All it takes is them not uh, them getting DS4 skip and when stolen and you're getting uh, centered and that could be G. Oh my god this race. And even if we get centered, we have double damage, so getting centered is still fast. Okay, Slacky's entering Essence, and that's G for Callum. I can't believe this. This gives them... 4 minutes and precisely 30 seconds. On the second, 4 minutes 30 seconds after Slacky finishes, Hunch Bunny has time to finish. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Yeah. 
this comes down to Dia's Force Skip. To Dia's Force Skip and how well Emperor Ing goes. If we're getting centered here, that could probably be it for Wendy's Dollar Menu. Yeah, Callum did a real good job there on the Dark Beam strat. Oh, uh, is Lucky getting full skipped here? It's Lucky, do not get pool skipped here. That would be the worst outcome. But Essence looks like it's in a good spot. That was an okay first pull, but we... I think we shot a bit too fast. A bit, a lot too fast for uh, for the attack cancels. That's too fast. You want to space out your shots a bit more, but this could be enough if he just holds down, just spray it down, and that's GG for Slacker. Let me count. 2 hours, 46 minutes, and what do we say? 30 seconds exactly, yes. So that's 2 hours, 47 minutes, and 7 seconds. That's the time we have to finish here. Oh my god, this is going to be so close. Yeah. We have four minutes left. This comes down to how well Emperoring free goes and how well Dark Samus free skip goes. If we're getting centered, that's probably gonna be it. Oh my god. I can't believe this race. Oh, that was a very good power bomb. I'm shaking my I'm shaking so bad right now. <laughs> Oh my god. And we barely have two minutes left. Yeah, that's the most important. Wait, what? How did... what? Excuse me? How were we able to kill... Yeah, but normally if you shoot Emperor Ing after using damage per screw attack, you would full heal Emperor Ing. This doesn't make any sense. Oh 
Also, I just realized we might want to switch audio. I'm sorry. You have one minute and s uh, you have exactly one minute from now. Come on. For the records. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, well, maybe? I have never seen the strat. Nope. That's probably centered. Yep, that's centered. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a GG. That's unfortunate, it coming down to getting DS4, uh, to getting centered. Oh my god. And that's officially, boom, Slakel has officially won the race. By time. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, she was able to come down again? That's impressive. That should have been the threshold where she would not come down again. What the hell? And that's GG's for Wendy's Dollar Menu. Oh god. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. What a race, folks. Holy Jesus. That was definitely the closest race so far. A race getting decided by just DS3, uh, DS4 skip. Alright. Uh, let's see, I can already see two of the runners in the waiting room. Let's see if we can get them in for a quick interview. Holy! <laughs> I cannot believe this race. Oh my god, I am still shaking. I've only been sitting in the commentary booth. This was an awesome race. Hello, Despise, welcome in. Hello, hello. GG. Yeah, close one, very close. Very close. It's very unfortunate that you got uh, that you guys got centered there. A race being a race being a race being lost or won over a DS4 skip over yeah. those fractions of a minute. It was seconds that decided this race. This is crazy. And welcome into everyone else, GG guys. GG. GGs. I am so sorry. <laughs> How dare you, Jay? I can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we were like eight minutes in and I was like, come on, the seat's not gonna be that bad. Oh, look, Tumos has an SDK. Oh, look, Amorbus has the Seekers. Oh, look, Lightsit is required. So is Dark Visor. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy, the seat. So Magmar is kind of stacked early game. 
Mm -hmm. Jack ended up winning. Dead. Sorry, I, I missed the, the memo. This is a win for Slakel by oh, a, by 50 seconds. Got 53 it. seconds. That uh, center was too much. Yeah. So basically, once this spice finishes, we gotta count the seconds. And in the moment Callum finished, that was your bonus time. So basically, Callum finished exactly 4 minutes 30 seconds after. And as soon as Lucky finished, you got those 4 minutes 30 seconds up on top. So that would have been a 2.47 and 9 seconds that you would have to finish. Or, no, 7 seconds. But uh, And you were on a good pace there, but, mm -hmm. you're, uh, but you getting centered yeah. made it then. Uh, and I, I knew it was just down to the center. Wait, no, he can do Emperor Inquiry. He will be doing Emperor Inquiry. That's, that's not a problem. That, you can do that in the time. If he yeah. gets centered by DS, if he gets centered, it's just over. Yeah. He needs to do enough damage before getting centered to do it. And I thought, just do the Dark Fiend strat, it's safer. And it worked perfectly for you. Yeah. So let's cut this together why it was so close. So, Wendy Stolomon, you had a problem with the Magma Pool Dash. And couldn't grab the SDK, so they were looking for grapple. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, Despise, just for you to know, if you have gravity, there is a stone in the lava that you can stand on and just jump up to the item. Yeah, I've tried that. I've tried doing that room all different ways, and I still just can't get it. So it's unfortunate that that came yeah. up today. So yeah, gravity uh, and X-ray make it super easy. And then grapple got, and then Callum found. Grapple first on uh, Spider Guardian, but Slucky yeah. was already done basically with the seed. The thing was, Slucky A didn't get bar skip, so Slucky left mines untouched for very long, which mm. means Callum only had seekers like 20 minutes ago. And Slucky last location, very last location, Spider on Plant. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I called that. <laughs> he called it halfway through like the seed. He's like, yes. I bet you. Plant's gonna have spider, and then you have to go back to do ghost, oh, and that's gonna have an SDK. You, you yeah. said something else, and you went, "Oh, I only got spider and and, and Chozo. or I, need, I oh I don't want to do I don't want to go into Flagra. But I went what went oh you uh, but Chozo was pretty much cleared. I went oh you still got uh, with, you still got um, ghost as well. You went yeah, yeah but that's not logical for spider. I went oh Flagra could have spider. <laughs> yeah. I saw that spider, my heart sunk. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, yeah it was prepared. really... That spider was rude. If, <laughs> yep. It could have been in any other yeah. place and it would have been better. That's definitely... In my opinion, that is the worst place to have spider in. The so, other crappy thing was uh, full clearing mines and last locationing phase on suit. Yeah, but that was more of the... Uh, so that was more your routing, uh, your routing through Magmore and not through Frigate. If you yeah. would have gone through Frigate, you would have found Phasen Suit instantly. What I found hilarious was, so you guys were giving each other the lead back forth, back forth, back forth, back forth. <laughs> and I was sitting here, wait, who's in the lead? Okay, you're in the lead now. No, <laughs> now it's Wendy's. Oh my god, that's Plasma. Oh, wait, wait, that's Phazon. <laughs> and I was just sitting here on the heat, not knowing, where, not knowing how this is going to end. And then once you finally found Spider, I was like, okay, Dynamo, oh my god, he safe resets. That's so smart! That safe reset saved you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I realized that I had just saved before I went to Chozo, and I was like, okay, cool, both these items for you, I don't need Spider. It's just get these and then get out. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to you know, Slacky, if you did not reset there, you guys would have lost. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. That reaches, that's how small this time difference is. You're so close, dude. Oh my god. You guys are not even a minute apart. I'm just, and I'm gonna double confirm the times. Yeah. <sighs> this is nuts. Uh, Despise, you're in BK a long time, for a long time at the start, or did you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. I, I just... I was... I just wasn't going that way. Like, to be honest, I was, checks. I was, I was very confused by both Echoes players. 
Both of you got the hint for a movement system for Prime in Doomed Entry. Both of you had Dark Beam. None of you were deciding to make that play. Well, he wanted to do more checks, and I actually kind of agreed with it, because after seeing where all my artifacts were, I was like, okay, this is actually not bad. I've already got kind of a setup going towards it. Like, my game's probably not going to need, like, a crazy amount of checks. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that didn't last very well. It's like but... one Dark Beam. I did go that way. <laughs> yeah, but I, I actually was not that worried about it. <laughs> not gonna lie, uh, <laughs> well, your game maybe did have more checks than you expected it to have. Just a little bit. I found it hilarious that none of the prime players found Ice Breader. You basically full cleared your games. No one find Ice. Uh, no one find Ice Breader. I saw it in Lower Torvus, but on my way out, I didn't think it was worth it. Yeah. But uh, wow, <laughs> really, you guys gotta watch that replay. You guys yeah. gotta watch that beauty, because yep. this is amazing. The Essence 3 cycle, I think, was pretty huge, too. Yeah. The free pool. That was actually super huge, because... Uh, this spice got 4 pooled. Yep. Essence survived on 1 HP. Yeah. No. Yep. That also made... Oh my god, it's so many small factors that could have decided this race. Oh... God, that hurts to think about. So, <laughs> the Prime players were pretty much stacked with the beams. Like, yeah. 10 minutes, oops, all beams. <laughs> that always makes it tricky, but I guess for a seed like this, it wasn't too bad, just based on where the artifacts were. This, the thing that really was crappy was getting the, the Seeker so late and not knowing where Echo's stuff yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I have to say, you guys have... Slucky, you have my biggest respect for making that quarantine cave slope jump twice. Oh, yeah. That is not an easy slope jump. That was Yeah, I realized I had to go through there a second time. I was like, oh, no way, not again. Yeah. This was an amazing race and terribly hard to have an eye on all four screens. <laughs> yep. It was fun, though. I was... Huh? I actually did enjoy the seed. It was interesting. Yeah. I don't think the seed was as bad as the other two I gent, given that Prime got space jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no space jump in PPC this time. And I was also like, uh, Slucky? You have supers. You might want to check the tree. Okay, no. Don't. I don't want to talk about it. We're just going to stand here and yeah. landing side. Okay, that's I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't say that to him. Oh, wait. I oh, hear... Oh, you supers. He didn't hear me. <laughs> I'm just continuing you're doing random ass checks. I just glanced over at my, my item screen and was like, oh, I have supers. Oh, crap, I need to check tree. I think even the in-game time tells you how close this race was. Mm. Yeah. Holy. So, all four of you can be really proud of this race, because this was a good one. Yeah, we're you just making it yeah. interesting for the fans. You guys played a J seed and had and oh, had it this close. So Jay, one did thing... you appreciate Airy? I went I went to Airy for you. I did. Thank you. One thing I wanna ask though, Hunch Bunny. Mm -hmm. You were in Sank three times and you were next to Quad two times, yet you did not fight Quad. Uh I was not sure you could do Quad without Echo Visor and Oh, so it was, uh, yeah, chat was, the chat was actually suggesting that. And we were like, we were like, what is Hunch Bunny missing? You, you guys are in go mode. Do you not know the key skip? You guys have Annihilator, you don't even need to key skip. Oh, Echo. Uh oh. Where was I completely forgot. It was on Prime. <laughs> Echo was uh... in Lower Mines in Fungal Hall Access. Oh, that's right. So do you... Um, so you just free aim to hit the antenna yeah, on just, quad. Just free, just free aim the. You can free aim, or you on. just, or you do the even easier thing. You just jump on quad's leg and just screw attack the antenna. That destroys it instantly. Got it. Yeah. You just, it, uh, I just, I just screw attack the ball and I just free aim them. I, I don't. No, I know you can screw attack them. I just don't. Okay, yeah, the race record also confirms it again. So, I did not expect this race anywhere to be so close after Slucky did not find Spyro for, I think, 
half an hour after you guys. I'm so glad I practiced spiderless tricks, though. Holy crap. Yeah, that that MQA strat, that any person strat came into your clutch. That was I hate amazing. That. I hate that dash so much. MQA is very bad. It's always very bad. Where was, the, could... where was the Amorbus key hunt? Uh, oh, that's a good, good question. I, I never did. No, Amorbus what? was the only key hunt we did not find. Of course so it, it was. was one of those two at down, it was one of those three. Lower Torvis, probably. Torvis, yeah. 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 Or the two I didn't check. I checked probably. all the others, except from uh, Mining Station B. But how close this race turned out was amazing. I have to say, I I could have not sitting on a better race in the restream, not gonna lie. <laughs> this was very good show for the restream. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for commentating. All, I was worried we weren't gonna have any. Yeah, having an all boss seed without Chica, uh, besides of Chica, is amazing. <laughs> Chica and OP were the only bosses not required the seed. Just pointing that out. Yeah, we had. I, there was that Chica key in Lighthouse, and I kept looking at that, and I was like, please tell me you don't need that, because I still don't know where Spider is. <laughs> and if you have to get a quad SDK, you might as well get a two most SDK too. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like something we only knew about Chumos for most of the time, and was like, will we see Chumos skip? Uh, will we see quad skip here? And suddenly, Cal and suddenly, uh, Cal uh, Callum finishes quad up. Oh, look, it's another SDK. Okay, we don't want to see quad skip here. <laughs> to be honest, I w like in the fighting loss. I'm going to fail him anyway. No, I'm not doing the skip. It'll probably cost me more time, time if I oh, accidentally look. mess it up. Hey, look, it's an SDK. <laughs> oh, that's shiny. This was incredible. I have... So what wandered me was... I'd have expected one of the Echoes players at least to go do the out-of-bounds for uh, the key hints, for the SDK hints. To skip I seekers. don't do it out of principle because I do not agree with skipping those two, the, those two doors. I see. But I see them as required item to do. I see. Respect. Yeah. That, I know uh... how to do both the skips. Not great, but I know how to do both of them. I just refuse to do them. I feel they are required doors to do. As a newer player, you, you cannot understand how much that warms my heart. Like, that's super appreciated. <laughs> because I, I am on the thingy. Of, I, I do have a thing that I feel because of how the echoes have sort of changed recently, that um, our bounce became so thingy that it makes super and not seeker, but mainly makes supers obsolete. And yeah. you technically also don't need seekers if you can no seeker, seekerless, um, break seekerless breaks type thing. Well, Your breaks. Well, I, I, I respect that much more than I respect the outer burning all super doors. Well, I'm a, I was about to say, well, sorry for me and Bra yesterday then, but then I realized, well, screw tech was our last item in that race, so oh, there yeah. wasn't really that much out of bounds <laughs> going on there. Yeah, that, that, I, that thing. But no, it's just a thing I, it's just a thing well, I my own personal feelings. Not completely true, we skipped having to fight Spider Guardian for the SDK. That was something we skipped. But that was a 5 minute time save maybe. A 5 minutes time save. I enjoyed warping around. <laughs> yes, <fun>. yes. <laughs> I think I just went back to, to Temple uh, two times for really needing to. Like, okay, uh, more more. this heat, this heat was bad. I think... No one else. I think no one expected anything else, though. <laughs> I think mm. our seed yesterday, I'd say, was much more brutal. Our seed yesterday was much more brutal in the sense of echoes not having screw attack. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And Spider Ball being in sank map. Mm -hmm. But uh, this seed was brutal in a different way. It was in how do you get into mines? And where the hell is Spider-Ball? Because Spider-Ball go mode is very bad, and if Spider-Ball turns out to be on plan, that's literally in a CGC mode, you were the worst spot where Spider-Ball could be. 
Because you usually don't want to do plant until you have spiders so you can do ghosts. Mm. Only difference is if, if you are able to pull off early wild. But yeah, uh, GG's to you all, yeah. lads. Good this race. was, was an amazing race. I'm very happy to be able to watch this and commentate this. I recommend all four of you guys to, uh, <laughs> to watch this race back. Because it's really, yeah. really good. Alright, I'll do that then. In the... In the chat, we currently have... Uh, the runners. You can also leave them a follow. And also the brackets in here for the CGC Cross Game Cup. We're currently basic, nearly at the half point of our group that bracket. And we'll, after that we will have a double elimination top 9 bracket. Or top 8. With double elimination. Other than that, do you guys have a final word? Nope. Nah, Chris. GG's. Yeah, GG. GG's. Then we'll Dude. see you guys next mission. Thank you for being here. Take care, Bye. dude. See ya.